Hey what's going on guys my name is Zed and welcome back to Clash TV So today guys I just faced a level 13 royal giant and I just got triggered by it so yeah I made this deck and this contains all the rage cards which is the royal giant the mortar the elite barbarians and the night wind so yeah let's actually hop into some battles and win some battles against some noobs in Clash challenge So yeah we are facing H H and he is a really happy guy because he's smiling at me i don't know why so yeah let's actually drop our royal giant at the back and what he just has level 5 giant so i think this guy this is his second account and he's just fooling around with this in classic challenge so yeah let's actually drop a mortar too and that should be the game maybe not he has an inferno tower so You're gonna lock the inferno tower. Maybe it could prevent some damage. Yeah, and you're gonna drop the fire spirit to take out his minions. And all in all, we got some mortar shots in. But he did more damage than me. If my mortar gets one more hit, it's gonna be even. Yeah. So my mortar is gonna get one more hit. And here comes the elite barbarians. And I don't think he has anything to counter it except a wizard. The wizard is only level six. So yeah, I'm not sure how did that wizard do so much damage to my barbarians. But anyway, let's actually fireball this up and drop a mega minion. They take care of the giant. Look at the giant. I just drop a fireball and it took out a quarter of hit points from him. So anyway, let's actually see if my mega minion can reach. Even though he dropped minions, my mega minion can't reach. But my mortar is gonna get a hit and. That should be the tower number one. He's gonna drop a hog rider, which is level six. So uh, this guy is playing really well, I must say, because this guy just brought as it a lot of damage to my tower. So yeah, let's actually drop elite barbarian. I'm not even. I'm just fooling around with this guy. So yeah, he's gonna drop the wizards, and the wizard is gonna do a pretty amount, grab an amount of job to. clear my elite barbarian so here comes his giant and i'm going to drop a mega minion to take out that yeah, take out that wizard and a knight to take care of his giant so yeah let's actually lock the wizard too and we are going to lose a tower for sure no we are not going to lose a tower only 150 hp left on tower this predicted that inferno tower and yeah as you can see We are gonna take out the tower, and I'm just gonna fireball his wizard, but that was not even needed. I drop some fire space to take care of those minions, and yeah, comes up another mortar, and mortar should get some hits because the giant is in the in the red range, and yeah, one more mortar shot, and that will be a GG. So yeah, we just wreck this guy, and yeah. Let's actually hop into another battle and see if we can win that battle that or two. So yeah, we are facing a level nine player, and yeah, I'm just gonna give him a good luck. Maybe I should just DM him, him too, but maybe not. So let's actually drop a royal giant at the back. He's gonna drop a princess. So I'm. Seeing a lot of the log bait deck or the zap bait deck, maybe. So yeah, I just took care of his rotten barrel with it. If you see a princess in a deck, it means he has the log bait. So he also has the inferno tower, of course. And I'm I was thinking if he would have dropped the goblin gang, but he dropped it very late. So my mega minion was able to take out that. So yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the knight because I don't think the knight could do a lot of damage. So yeah, let's actually drop a mortar there, and I don't think he has any counter. He just drop a knight, so I guess so. So he has a fireball instead of a rocket. So my mortar should get a hit. Yeah, my mortar is gonna get a hit on his tower, and yeah, he's back on his inferno tower. So my royal giant is not gonna make it. So yeah, let's actually see if we can get our elite barbarians into. So 
let's actually drop a night witch first to make sure we doesn't lose any legs so i'm gonna drop a log there and hopefully it can hit the princess which is not gonna happen so i'll have to drop some fire spirit here i drop my elite barbarians so yeah he dropped a knight there and a log and maybe he's gonna drop a goblin giant too so no he's not gonna drop a goblin giant and that's gonna wreck his tower all the way down to zero so only one minute left in the match and i need him i at least need two crowns to finish this epic game so yeah this guy is actually playing really well but the motor is just so OP and everything in this deck is so OP. So yeah, let's actually drop some fire spirits to take care of his Inferno Tower. I'm gonna drop a Mega Minion and all around we did around 1000 of damage to his tower. Maybe even less than 1000 damage. So yeah, he's doing a split push. I don't know why he just left his right tower. I'm gonna get a really good rock value. I got the Goblin Barrel and also the Goblin Gang with the Log which was awesome so yeah let's actually see if our Royal Giant can make it Royal Giant is gonna get 1 hit, 2 hits and that's it so I'm thinking of dropping another motor but that would not be good he's gonna drop Goblin Barrel and I'm gonna let him take that tower because I just got a Fireball and that should be a victory maybe not oh I just need one more Fireball to win it so yeah, let's actually defend until we get a fireball in so he's gonna drop a goblin barrel i'm gonna drop a log he's also gonna drop his goblin gang but that's not gonna do much because i'm just gonna drop a log laughing face and a royal giant to number two which is one of the best played clash royale so i hope you enjoyed this video guys so i'm just gonna be him very hard and Maybe he's just crying a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys.